Let's briefly cover our notes so far. So we have covered a little bit of this, right? We covered the fact that we have our end map in here and what we saw in port 22, port 80, etc. And we had a couple of findings from before. We had default web page on Apache and we had this information disclosure as well. Um, now we've done some exploiting. So I've gone ahead and just put in here, I put the SMB exploit. So I put an example of what it looks like when we run it and you could see that the who am I and the host names in there. And then I've got the IP address. This is just for my notes. You can make this as detailed as you want, by the way. You could say, hey, I ran this at this specific time and I ran it against this host and here was the attack I ran, etc." And we'll get more into what your report should look like. But as long as you know, at least for me, as long as I know or I have a screenshot of proof that I did it and I have the IP address that I ran it against, that's pretty much enough. I can remember the rest and then type out the report. And same here with the mod SSL attack on port 80 and 443. And I don't have a copy of it right now, but the shadow file, we did uncover the shadow file as being a root user. So this is just notes for us. Perhaps we could use the uh, shadow file information and crack the passwords, or we could go on and try to pass the password or pass the hash around, which we'll get to in later videos. And another thing that I added in here too was undetected malicious activity. So this is something that you're going to see on a report. And we talked about in the uh, the brute forcing video where if we're doing any kind of brute forcing, we're doing it not only to see if we can get in with a bad password, but to see if the client catches us. So in this example, I'm just going to say, hey, they didn't catch us. Here's an example of what we did. Uh, also scanning in there as well. If they're not seeing a scan, that's something that we're going to report back. So this would be typically a low finding. These would also be low findings. Anytime we get access to a machine. This is obviously a critical finding. Um, so we just want to keep note of, you know, what kind of things we're finding, take good pictures, etc. So I'm hoping that you are getting the gist now of what your notes should look like. Again, make these your own, however it feels good to you. This is just how I kind of do it. I don't have to put a ton of information in there for me to remember as long as I have my screenshots, which are most important because that's your proof that you were actually there and you did it. Otherwise, it's just he said, she said kind of thing. So that is it for this video. That is it for this section. Congratulations again for making it this far. Now we're going to move into some of the fun stuff where we get to look at a bunch of different attacks and gradually just get a little bit more complex and learn some new things along the way. And I like to call this a capstone because we're, we're capping off where uh, all the things we learned so far and we're going to actually build upon it too. You're going to learn a bunch of new little techniques as we do this little mid course capstone. And then we're going to get into really fun stuff once we get into Active Directory. I'm, I'm really excited for that. So I will catch you over in the next section.